Hello friends, how are you? In today's video, we will see how we can deploy Jagger on Kubernetes via using Helm chart. This is the official Helm chart of Jagger, uh, which we are going to use. I will share link with you. And let's start of today's video. If you are interested in more about learning the monitoring and logging videos, we have different playlists which are based uh, of logging by Elasticsearch, Monitoring, Prometheus, and SIM tool, Vazoo. Uh, you can watch and get benefit from this video. Please do a like to support us. One like. Uh, let's start. So uh, we will do about the Jagger. First of all, if you are going to work with the Jagger, you just have to first add this particular repo. Uh, let's me add. Okay, already we have this repo added. Let's come back. Uh, we need require a namespace. Otherwise, our deployment will go in the default namespace. For that, I have uh, lens connected to my cluster. And here I have task namespace, which is currently is empty. Nothing is there. We have to configure that. And by using this command, we will start our, uh, we can say, particular release of Jagger. And this will create these things. Jagger daemon set, agent daemon set collector query, uh, which is its UI also, Cassandra stateful set. By default, it's create a backend for itself, uh, which we can name as Cassandra. We can, uh, but it's recommended to you lossy search in the production environment. Here you can see that we have Go, Java. These are the supported language. Uh, from where we are getting the uh, traces through its agent, and uh, there are some client libraries which we mentioned in our applications and uh, this uh, give traces to agents and agents to collector collectors to db and through uh, jaguar query we can view them and more if you go it's have some dependencies like of elasticsearch cassandra and kafka uh, we will use elasticsearch for our demo for storage we can configure the and use the manage services manage uh, which is recommended and installing the chart with a new last search cluster we just have to set up this story cassandra files because cassandra is by default true if we are just making a new helm lease uh, it's work in this way and uh, if you have a Existing classes cluster, you can give credentials. Uh, I'm hoping that you are using a classes with credits only, not with unauthenticated classes that you are going. Cluster with TLS. If you have uh, LSS is TLS encrypted. Okay, then we have collector Spark, Cassandra configuration. Uh, then we have ingestion configuration. We can use the Jagger ingester uh, with the Kafka uh, for the uh, real to make the real time log uh, Kafka and uh, Kafka will send log to the inge uh, and then Kafka, through Kafka we will ingest the log to DB when we are working in very huge in a, and very big environment. Otherwise, uh, above uh, the above release which we have talked earlier is fine with the law uh, requirements. So flow will remain same. We have application which have the client code, and uh, this code is just uh, through is sending traces to agent. Through agent is going to collector, collector through Kafka and ingester through uh, going to DB and through Jagger query, which is uh, its UI, we can 
uh, make them uh, storage Kafka true in just to enable true. If you just want to enable the ingester, you first have to provision data store Kafka true. If, if you have existing Kafka, you can use that. So other storage configuration, okay, it's uh, giving the option of Mongo also. Okay, let's start here. Uh, use this command we have already repo add and we will but we are going to create elasticsearch search as a backend uh, storage lossy search okay one second the command which we copied uh, from the installation manual is having the version and here we don't have the version so we add the version here uh, mentioning version is a good thing it uh, by chance version got upgraded and something which you are passing is not working as you are expecting so uh, it's good to make the version static now provision status store with the sender making the for this is a true story type last is it two things we have to do done make Cassandra false, let's say true and st story type we have to select uh, let's say because it's by default Cassandra so let's run it one second there is a one more thing which we have to do hyphen in TPST Sorry, here I have to mention because uh, we want our deployment to be get into the uh, our test namespace. So fine, let's run the command. Helm install Jagger Jagger tracing chart version. Chart version is particular and in the particular test namespace with particular storage storage type setting. Let's run the command. Okay. It's saying that uh, it has created a release by name of Jagger on the state in the namespace status is deployed. Revision first revision is get created. Ensure the storage is explicitly configured. First storage are expected to change. So this is the very important instruction it's giving. You should if you are maintaining it in a prod environment, you should change. The use of the common dot is deprecate. Okay, and uh, you can log into the Jagger query by using here. Okay, we have to make the board. Uh, we have to. We can use it by making a port forward request. Till uh, we have our view at test namespace in the lens. So we have nine ports deployments statement set. Stateful set replicas. Let's list them. Last is such master. Okay, it should take some time. Let's see its log. Uh, it will take some time to get the backend ready. As first master you can see is coming up. After that, collector and query will come up. After only that. Till the time it's get. Uh, settled we look for the other options and if there is other things which we can explore okay now let's go to the default value section till the time it will take uh, one to two minutes uh, to get this things done so first uh, with in the starting we have the provision store which is Cassandra is true by default. That's why we make the use of the hyphen hyphen set flag to make the Cassandra false, Elasticsearch true, and uh, storage policy to set true. Then we have network policy enabled false. Uh, we can override the things thing all in one is all for false arguments we can pass or customize argument if we require. 
here uh, if you want ingress you can make it enable and uh, we are going with the default setting so ingress is disabled here we can check storage which we have changed to elasticsearch and uh, by default it will remain cassandra here now in the cassandra we have 9042 port scheme we can make uh, things change like if we have a existing cassandra there we can pass our user password and uh, other things then we have elasticsearch HTTP scheme over HTTP schema and host is the last master. If you are go, uh, want to change, we can change here, but we have to mention the things at uh, two places last search uh, host at here and one where we calling the last search chart and port use password true. Same like we have Kafka and uh, then we again. We have this is the Kafka information going on. Then <coughs> that is the Elasticsearch, and uh, the things which we want to customize in the Elasticsearch help chart, we can make the modification here and uh, ingress ingester is always remain false. Then we have service account agent enabled then it's image if you are will looking for the some specific image then you can mention tag here and uh, particular that tag person resources currently there is no resource request or limits is mentioned it is recommended in the uh, environment that uh, you should mention request and limits to the resources that it shouldn't exhaust the limits of the required one like your main application not get down because of your checker or other things service account then we have in same way we have uh, like we have collector and its properties we can change we can make some modification uh, whatever we are looking we are seeing and we can make the thing I am assuming that uh, now we are very friendly with the helm chart of the uh, Jagger and I think it's get okay things are get settled down it's till five minutes and we have Jagger query Jagger collector Jagger agents and last search cluster with the three nodes and uh, now if you look for the logs Okay, level one, cluster name Lassi search and Lassi search master zero is the main master. So we have the query and uh, under query we if you go to, okay, uh, query is the UI, let's make it port forward 8080 and let's start okay we have the ui for the jagger uh this is the ui that's look like that uh about jagger blog twitter online github then we have jagger ui page search page compare page and uh, system architecture tab and monitoring tab choose services currently uh, we are not getting any uh, latency any dashboard any anything no not neither we getting service in this search tab or UI tab you can see we are not getting any services it is because uh, none of our services is get deployed via client uh, config if you see remember here the architecture architecture was that you have some application under that you have client configuration uh, if you mention in the client configuration then it will start scrapping the traces to the jagger ui so uh, that's all for today like the video uh, if you found it helpful and i look for your comments if you need any help in open tracing and other stuff uh, please Amen. Thank you.